Ah, welcome to OpenJS World 2020. I'm super excited to be speaking about unlocking new web capabilities. Um, my name is Mai Edwin, uh, software dev and speaker, uh, currently consulting and co-founder for PWFR.org, which is basically a dev site for PWA developers uh, with a collection of resources for all those things you need to build very powerful progressive web apps. Too. Hello, uh, welcome to OpenJS uh, World 2020, and I'm super excited to be speaking about unlocking new web capabilities. Um, Maya Edwin, uh, software dev and speaker based uh, in Nairobi, Kenya, and yeah, co-founder for PWFR.org, which is basically a dev site for developers who want to build powerful progressive web app. Uh, so when we're speaking about unlocking new web capabilities, we're speaking about being able to build very powerful progressive web apps or web apps that are able to do anything native applications can do. And in so doing, uh, you're thinking about closing the app gap. So what is possible or um, able to be, uh, be, be <laughs> oh. Oh. We start again. Hi, uh, welcome to OpenJS uh, World 2020. Um, super excited to be speaking about unlocking new web, new web capabilities. I'm Maya Edwin, uh, software dev based in Nairobi, Kenya, and also co-founder for PWFI.org, which is basically a dev set or a collection of resources for PWA developers who want to build very powerful progressive web apps. Um, when we are speaking about unlocking new web capabilities, uh, what we're thinking about is being able to build web apps that can be able to do anything native applications can. And when thinking through that, we're thinking about closing the gap of what is possible on the web and what is possible on the native uh, platform. So bringing or narrowing this gap allows us to build anything entirely anything native on the web and you can focus on being a very super amazing web developer and build anything entirely native uh, on the platform itself so um, as much as we think about um, unlocking these new features and building powerful web apps there are three core tenants uh, of the web that we should always have in mind so keeping the web instant that is fast and as we bring in these powerful uh, capabilities we think of how we deliver the same capabilities of a, um, a very secure kind of platform so talk about HTTPS and in this we've had like tremendous progress with most of the browsers so setting it as default settings for setting for uh, uh, delivering websites okay cool um so let us have a look at some of these new web capabilities and basically uh jumping into chromium based uh browsers that is the latest microsoft edge and uh google chrome so talk of budget apa we able to notify the users that there's some new activities new uh um, notifications they need to check out from their pwas Talk about um, shape detection API, which is shaped already in the uh, Google Chrome, for example. Weblock API, so prevent the device from going to sleep at any time when the PWA is, for example, um, uh, actively doing something in the background. So talk about web NFC, web share target, notification triggers, where you can schedule natively notifications to do something, either offline or, or offline or online. Uh, periodic background sync API so we can able to do magically some synchronization of data in the background uh, whether your app is offline or online then you have the web share API and all those things all these amazing uh, capabilities that are already into play with uh, chromium browsers and 
contact picker so being able to allow people to select or pick up contacts in any given uh, websites in this case we're giving more benefit of that to pws of course then being able to copy images to end from the clipboard and yeah and it's pretty pretty amazing and as much as we think of um, uh, implementing these capabilities in our uh, powerful web apps we need to also understand what is our role in trying to evolve these capabilities and or contributing to these capabilities so um i'm gonna just take some amazing reference from um, the chromium team so being able to um, firstly uh, identify the need for this capability and then write in an explainer basically thinking of these approaches browser vendors here yeah? so um, then get back to the community the target audience which are basically the developers allow them to engage to be part of it as devs as through open source or providing feedback and then iterating the whole process getting the formal specification and then building the capabilities into these particular browsers and i think this process is so important and we mostly interact with it in various projects at a personal or company level and all those things so yeah so putting this in mind at these stages and being able to be part of the process helps us to build more and more powerful capabilities and that is very 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 important so yeah so and there we have a lot of most of these uh, now they're stable most of them are stable in most of the browsers so now you could check out so for example this uh, web app which gives you an overview of some of these um, capabilities which are already in action so yeah basically that is it so yeah i believe that with this <laughs> quick and short call uh, not really call um uh, session i believe you can now get it huge into like looking into how you implement these capabilities into your progressive web apps and yeah keeping building and building and building our uh, powerful web apps but then adhering to this core principles if i may insist so keeping the web instant build this powerful capability capabilities i mean and yeah delivering these capabilities over a secure kind of uh, service that is https yeah so that is it and um thank you so much for being part of uh, this talk and looking forward for questions and any conversation and yeah chatting with your people via twitter yeah cool thank you thank you thank you